Did it go? Yep. Okay. Where am I going to be? Uh, we're going to go to that hive over there. Okay. This nuke, I believe, is one of them that he said was a little weak. That's okay. That one over there is completely full. It will take a little bit of smoke. What that does is that drives them down off the top so you're not putting your fingers in bees. Now, if they start buzzing your face real harshly, just back up a little bit. Okay? Yes. Come on, girl. Now the thing I have to be real careful about is not smashing the bees up against the wall of the box on this first frame. It's called rolling, rolling your queen, i.e. smashing your queen, which you don't want to do. Yeah, that'd be bad. must not be the weak one because that frame is completely full holy cow when I say completely full I mean that's that frame probably weighs 10 pounds Subsequent frames come out real easy. So what I'm doing is I'm placing all of the frames that I'm taking out of the nuke um, into the middle of the box. And that's because bees like to build from the inside out. So we'll stick them in the middle and they'll be much happier. Happy bees. Happy bees. We like happy bees. Wow, that's another full cool one. He must have rotated the frames. Now it's important that the way the hive is facing, that you bring the frames out in the exact same order. All right, so we'll put the top cover on and then we'll go do the last one, which is gonna be the fun one. How so? Uh, it's bursting at the seams. Oh goody. Bursting with bees. Yes. It is completely full. And in fact, when I take the, when I open it, I need to check it for uh, swarm cells. What's that? Are, well, when bees get crowded, 
they uh, they prepare to depart by laying new queens. At least that's my understanding. I'm still kind of new to this. So. And so before they swarm, they'll start building a whole bunch of special uh, cells. All right, let's do this one. Are they girls? I thought I they were boys. I don't know what they are, honestly. So Joel White is the atheist who uh, certified our bees. Get, get a little sticker here on the top of the top of the nuke that tells us that these are registered certified bees so we know they're safe and not uh, any kind of disease problems and Joel is also the president of the National Beekeepers Association Right there. Boy, howdy. <laughs> this bad boy is full. I mean, super full. Now you were saying the other day that they were close to swarming. Is that because they this, were outgrowing their space? Yep. And this is the box that Joel was concerned about swarming. So Come on. There we go. I almost did two of those. Yes, I do. Well, what I can do is I can lift, that one's broke loose. What it is, is there's this stuff inside called propolis. It's basically bee glue. It's how they glue up all of the internal components of the hive. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm just so scared I'm gonna smash bees do that. There we go. I think I'm going to have to look into getting a different hive tool. I saw one that has a hook on the end of it that I think is much more appropriate. Here wow. comes the rooster to check things out. Holy shit. Oh, they're dangling from the bottom. Yeah. Wow. The, yeah. They was crowded. Now yeah, we're going to uncrowd you. Give you lots of new room. Now. Wow. Yeah, that comb is completely full. Wait till you see this next one, honey. <laughs> I gotta film the rooster for a second. <laughs> oh, is he coming over to check things out? <laughs> you might regret that. I gotta make sure my shirt doesn't come untucked in the back. Yeah, that'd be bad. Yeah. that one yeah I would bet you our queens on there and I'm not going to try to search for right now the name of the game is getting them out of the box how can you tell the queen from the others uh different body 
Uh, they're just, they're very distinguishable. Sometime we'll uh, come out here together and Yeah, I'm not quite as crazy as you. I'm just educating our viewers. <laughs> nothing crazy about this. <laughs> this is uh, calm and fun. Well, and that's the thing. You have to... It took me a few... A few times with the bees to get to a point where I was comfortable. Well... So the rest of them will migrate themselves, right? They will, indeed. They say that you should knock them out, but I've heard mixed opinions on that. Why piss them off? Well, no, it's not about it. I mean, I guess it would piss them off, but more so that uh, it's just not good to agitate them if you don't have to. They'll find their way up there into the hive. Well, is that top tray for the sugar water? Yes. I imagine that will draw them. That is exactly what this is for. If you'll hand me your camera, I'll show the audience. So, what Mel's talking about here is this right here. So the bees can come up through this hole and they can come down this little, I don't know what you'd call a little slide, I guess. And this thing will be filled with sugar water, which we only want to use that when the connector's not flowing. It's been pretty dry and we haven't had a lot of rain, so uh, we'll probably go ahead and feed them. I'll come out and do that here in a minute. But that's it. We got all four of them moved. Yay. First time in my life I ever bought 16 pounds of sugar. <laughs> yeah, they'll they'll eat a little bit. I'm wondering if I shouldn't. I shouldn't uh, make this for the guys that may not be able to fly up. They can crawl. There we go. I should probably do that with the other ones too. make their way up into the hive. See, this was the weak hive that Joel had put a feeder on and you can look and there's not hardly any bees in here. It was a much smaller hive than uh, the other three. That's okay. It looked healthy. So We'll let these guys calm down and I'll uh, come back out tonight once they uh, go to sleep and grab the nuke boxes and we'll get this stuff moved up to uh, Music City Convention Center hopefully sometime in the next few weeks. Thanks guys.